Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, this is FCAST and Chill here. Today I'm going to talk about one of the most important things in RuneScape for PVM, uh, prayer flicking. You know, this is pretty important for most combat, so it's, it's really important to learn how to do it. Today I'm going to cover three different prayer flicking techniques and show you how to practice them and how to learn them. So the first one I'm going to start with is just called the lazy flick. And the reason it's called the lazy flick is because you just turn your prayer on and off um, right whenever the enemy is attacking. So one thing that most of you might not know is that if you turn your prayer off within one tick after turning it on, it actually will not use up any of your prayer points. So you can see here I have 88 prayer points and then watch me just turn my protect from magic on and off repeatedly and you can see my prayer is staying at 88. It's not going down at all. And that's just because I'm turning it off within one tick. And then you can see if I leave it on here and don't do that, then this 88 will start to drain. So um, what, what you want to do is you want to line up your prayer so that it lines up with the enemy's attack. And I'll show this in just a minute. But um, you want to make sure that you have the overhead over your character on the tick that the enemy starts their attack animation because that's when the damage is calculated. So if you have your prayer over your head when their um, attack animation starts then it'll block the damage. I, I do want to mention that there are a couple exceptions to this rule. Jad is one of them for example. After Jad does his attack animation then the um, attack will hit a little bit later. There, there's a couple other small examples, but the vast majority of enemies, as long as you have the overhead active when they start their attack animation, that'll block it. So this is the lazy flick, just turning it on and then back off right when the enemy attacks. And so let's go test that out now on some skeletons. All right, so now I've gone down to these skeletons here, and I'm going to show you how the lazy flick works in practice. Um, I unequipped everything just so things will take a little bit longer to kill. I am 99 melee combat, though, so it might still go through them pretty quickly. But um, anyway, let's do this. So I'm just going to start attacking one of these skeletons and then flick my protect from melee whenever they attack. So let's let's just grab this guy here. So you can see I turned it off, on, off, on, off. And so I'm just timing it to where I turn it on right before he does his attack animation. That time I was a little late, but I'm just turning it on. Let's, let's kill another one. So you turn it on right before their attack animation and then turn it off right after you see it, them attack and you'll block all damage. And I'm using up no prayer, which is very nice. So really that's it. Um, if you want, if you're curious about how many ticks your, um, the monster you're fighting attacks in, you can actually just look them up on the wiki. I'll show you how to do that real quick with these skeletons, just so you can know where to look. But um, yeah, let me pull that up real quick. So you can see here, I have the wiki up with the skeleton. And if you go down just below the enemy, you can see there's this attack speed over here. And it says speed of four. I can zoom in a little bit on that. This speed four, that means it attacks every four ticks. So that's what you want to look for. And um, that's what you can use to time this lazy flicking. Again, this takes a little bit of practice because you have to get a feel for what four ticks is as you're doing it. But um, you know, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. So really, like any time you're training Slayer or just killing things, you should practice it. And then you can, like for me, so many enemies in the game have a four tick cycle that is kind of ingrained into me now how long four ticks is. And it's pretty easy for me to flick this. But it, it's really easy to learn. You just need to practice a bit. All right, now I want to talk about what I call the alternating prayer flick. Um, maybe you could also call it the on-off flick. But essentially, this is where you turn your prayer on and off every single tick. And remember, since you're turning it off within one tick, you're not going to use any prayer. So you can see I'm at 88 here. Now let me just do this for a little bit. 
So on, off, on, off, on, off. And so you can see my prayer is staying at 88. And the reason this is useful is if you're fighting any enemy that attacks with an even number of ticks for their attack speed, then it'll block their damage. So whether it's a four tick enemy, six tick or whatever, it, since you have your prayer on every other tick, you're blocking the attacks every other tick. So if it's an even number, you'll block all their attacks. And you could see here, I'm still at 88 prayer. I haven't used any. So this one, it takes more clicks than the lazy flick, but I actually find it easier to do because you don't have to worry about the timing of the enemy attack. You just keep turning it on and off every tick. And so you might ask, you know, like, how do you know exactly how long a tick has been? How do you know how to turn it on and off every tick? That seems pretty hard, but it's actually a lot easier than you'd think. What you can do is, so I can click my protect from magic, and you can see after I click it, then this overhead will appear a little bit later. And then when I click it again, it takes a little bit for that overhead to go away, right? So again, let me do this click, then it came on, let me click again, and then it came off. So what you actually do is you'll click to turn it on, and then wait until you see the overhead over your character. And right when you see that, that's when you click again to turn it off. So let's try that out. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, just like that. And so, and then when you click to turn it off, right, when you see the overhead go away, that's when you'll click again to turn it on. So it's actually, I'm using a visual cue to do, uh, do the timing for this. I'm not having to like count 100 beats per minute in my head or anything like that. I'm just looking at right at my character model and looking at the overhead. And when it turns off, I click again. When it turns on, I click again. That's it. So it's very easy to do. Um, this is actually kind of cool too, because if you're attacking an enemy um, on the same tick that they attack or on a different tick, what you can do is you can set up your quick prayers here to turn on maybe, you know, protect from magic and uh, rigor, for example. And then you can do this by clicking the activate quick prayers and do that every tick. And so you can turn it on and off. And again, I'm using no prayer points when I do this. But every other tick, I have Rigor activated as well as Protect from Magic. So this is extremely useful if you're trying to, you know, kill things more quickly. Um, you just line it up to where you attack on the same tick from them or, you know, two ticks off. And then just keep clicking here. And you can have Rigor on every time you attack. And it won't use up any of your prayer at all. So uh, let's go test that one out now too. All right, so now I'm going to show you the alternating flick on these skeletons. And this is going to be um, a little bit easier to do because you don't really need to learn the timing too much. Remember, you just need to turn the prayer on and off and click every time you see your overhead change. So when I see the overhead come on, I click again. When I see it go off, I click again. So I'm just clicking every tick. And then this is using up no prayer. So let's do that with fighting some of these guys. So I'm going to attack him. And then right after I see his attack animations go, that's when I start it. And you can see if I maintain this, just turning it on and off, I'll block every one of his attacks. And remember, this only works for enemies that attack with even numbers of ticks for their attack speed. But that said, that's almost every enemy in the game. There are some that are five tick enemies, but most are either four or six. And if you mess it up, then you can just turn your prayer on and wait till they start their attack animation and then get back in the cycle. So there, I saw him attack me, so I'm just going to keep clicking. Just on, off, on, off, on, off. And again, I'm not using timing for this. I'm just watching my character model, clicking when I see the overhead come on, clicking again when I see it come off, and repeat. And then now I'm actually going to try this with piety too, so you can see that I can do this block all damage and use piety. So I'm going to set up my quick prayers to piety and protect from melee. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit one of these guys. And then let's see. Oh, well now my attack isn't quite in cycle. I'm attacking one tick after I have piety on, so it's not working this time. But if that's what you're doing, what you can do is you could just stop attacking for a minute and then 
into the cycle. That's a little harder, but um, let's see. Block, block. Okay, and then on, off, on, off. So you can see here, I'm using piety and flicking this guy without using up any prayer at all. Just going on and off every tick, blocking all his damage and attacking with piety on. Again, that can be a little hard to get in cycle to where you're using piety and blocking all their damage. Actually, an easy way to do it <clears throat> is to use auto retaliate. So if you have auto retaliate turned on, then a lot of the time, you know, once they attack you, if you just let yourself retaliate automatically, then that'll get you in cycle to have piety on. And now you can see I'm going to flick on off. And I'm kicking him with piety. And I'm just clicking this every tick. And there we go. So this is really helpful for most content in the game, like I said before. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, I've, that's really all I have here for the alternating flick, but it's a really useful method. All right, the third method I want to cover today is known as one tick flicking. Um, this is the one when everybody says prayer flicking kills your wrists and kind of makes you want to kill yourself. This is the one they're talking about because you have to actually double click every single tick and you have to be pretty precise with the timing. Um, I honestly do not recommend this method um, unless you're doing certain combat achievements where it's like, oh yeah, you know, do this challenge without using up any prayer, or, you know, do some other crazy stuff. Then one tick flicking can be really useful. But in general, I don't recommend it. It's honestly a bit much. Um, I've have over 10 Zuck kill count across my account, 10 Infernal Capes, and I never used one tick flicking in the Inferno. So it's definitely not necessary to learn. That said, um, I could show you how to, uh, how to practice it and learn it. So you want to stand near some place where you can restore your prayer. And the way the method works is you turn your prayer on, and then what you do is once your prayer is on, you double click every tick. And then since you're turning it off every tick, then you can see that um, my prayer is not going down at all. And so I'm actually not very good at this, honestly. Um, the best way to practice it, though, is if you actually go on, in RuneLight plugins, scroll down to Visual Metronome right here and turn that on. You can see that creates this colored box here that's changing colors every tick. So what you do is you turn your prayer on and then every time this changes colors, double click on your prayer. And if you're doing it correctly, the overhead should remain above your character at all times. So let's start doing this. We're going to be at 82 prayer, and then let's start. Okay, there we go. So I messed it up a little, but you can see that this is um, kind of a pain but you have to double click every time it changes. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. It's So you can see every time it changes colors, I'm double clicking. And so the prayer stays over my head my prayer isn't draining at all. And this is kind of a pain in the ass, honestly, so I don't recommend it. I think with the alternating flick and the lazy flick, you can do most of what you want to do 
without using up any prayer points. So you can see here, just kind of alternate flicking again. This is much easier than doing that one tick flick. And, and really, at the end of the day, if you're one tick flicking everything, your wrist and hand are going to get very tired, probably end up with carpal tunnel syndrome, and then you'll have to be some loser that's like in the hospital telling people that you're there because you were playing too much RuneScape. Nobody wants to be that guy. So I'd recommend just sticking with the alternating flick or the lazy flick, unless you're going for certain combat achievements. But if you do want to practice the one tick flicking, visual net metronome is the way to go. It's very helpful. So let me do that a little more. And you can see it's working when the overhead stays above my character. So anyway, um, that's really it for this guide. I uh, want it to be short and sweet. Just have the three different prayer flicking methods and show you how to practice them. But um, yeah, I hope this is really helpful. And let me know if you have any questions or comments below. And if you want to, um, if you have ideas on what I should cover in my next guide, then please let me know. And also, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It just takes a second. It doesn't cost you anything, and it would help grow the channel. So thanks. I appreciate it. Have a good one.